Howdy guys, we are out here today drilling some end grass. I already did I think about 15 to 20 acres yesterday just to make sure things were working before we got too wild, um, before I started getting video because preparation is key. Um, but um, what we've got out in the field today is my uh, 73 1370 that did have a cab on it, that aftermarket cab, we ripped that off, got a lot of hate. Love it in the open station form. And then a set of 9300 John Deere hoe drills. Um, we just picked these up about a month ago, went and got them here last week. Um, but we're gonna check before I start today. I've got seed with me, but I don't need it. I don't need it. Should be pretty good on this drill. Yeah, probably good for a little bit here. But yeah, good old 9300 John Deere hoe drills, steel press. Um, get some net wrap from the previous owner. It looks like I picked up a little bit of barbed wire yesterday too, but we're gonna ignore that for now. Um, I had to change a tire on these, kind of get them set a little different. We're gonna check the case over here before I fire it up for the day. Call back up under here, we are good. Uh, might actually need to add a little hydraulic fluid and the engine oil is full so let's say we're okay for the day we'll crawl up here and check and freeze and screw that down better it looks like before I lose it get on antifreeze cool fire this thing up this morning. Maybe. Uh, a loose battery cable there.
<laughs> this is a duck.
guys. I uh, thought I was gonna get done with that this morning, but uh, it started sprinkling and then raining enough that it's way tacky out now, and uh, the ground's black again. So, um, I gotta go grab something here off the tracker, my camera back to my GoPro, but it is entirely too wet now to be back out here. So, yeah, I just shut her down here at the end of the field where I was at and ran to the pickup and uh, we're gonna go grab the camera bag yeah it's sticking to my boots when it's sticking to your boots like that you know it's time to be done because yeah too wet so honestly I think it's kind of supposed to do this on and off the rest of the day was hoping I could get this done but uh, we had two little delays for sprinkles and that's all she wrote so we go home and have a beer maybe come back to this tomorrow or tuesday we'll see what happens well we're finally back in the field it just sprinkled pretty much all day yesterday and this morning it's been or this morning it was misty a little bit of heavy sprinkles and at some point today it's supposed to get up to 102 degrees it's about 73 right now so it's gonna get real hot real quick here so uh we're gonna crawl back on this, get done, and then road it 10 miles back to the machinery lot and uh, unhook. I have got to run a field cultivator or something through the other 50-ish acres of this we're gonna do. Um, it's just a little rough. It was really, really, really hard after the four or five inch rain we had. And honestly, the Steiger really struggled to pull a 28 foot sweep at four and a half mile an hour that I usually pull at six and a half. So it was hard. But uh, we're going to check oils on this thing here again this morning because it's, it's, it, it's dry enough, I think. Yeah, this is pretty sandy field here, so I think it's dry enough. Good on engine oil. Go look at the sight gauges here on the side. We got oil in those. Um, antifreeze, not too worried about it. It's not pissing all over the ground. Make sure we got all the seed tubes on this drill here. Step up on. We'll do a couple rounds and try to level it off. I've got a seed tender there with more in it if I need it. Really liking these drills. This is a pretty good buy. Oh yeah, plenty of seed in that one. Pop down, make sure we got seed tubes all hooked up on this drill. Don't see any shanks tripped or anything. So we will crawl up, fire off the case, and let it warm up this morning. I hope. Crawl up here. <clears throat> I actually plugged, that was a pretty nice little start, but I actually plugged the uh, filter in the sediment bowl yesterday with some yellow, you see a little bit of that right there after I cleaned it out, with some yellow snotty looking stuff. Don't know what that was about, but uh, I'll have to pay attention. I need to throw some good uh, like bio side and some fuel conditioner in this thing. Solve that problem hopefully, but. This stuff's drilling really, really nice. Drill's leaving really nice ridges here. Can't complain about that at all. Field's a little rough. This is actually about our roughest field we farm in general. Uh, we don't call it the goat ranch for nothing. And uh, yeah, I ran a disc this direction to knock down weeds and stuff that were here and then ran our Fallow Master undercutter with the contour this way and then i'm kind of following the contour again to drill but it's still still pretty rough but we'll let that warm up and we will get to drilling and get this done we got like three passes that way and then i gotta put three rounds around this well we're moving dirt's not sticking to the tires really and it's not sticking to the packers back there at all so uh we're just gonna i'm gonna 
two left behind the glove house. So we're gonna get more of these go right down to there. Do three rounds around this thing to cover up where I turned around and uh, I take make the 10 mile trek back across to the Shumi lot. It's kind of fun to do that trip because this thing's 20 foot wide going down the road. I got three pretty tight bridges to get through on that trip. But, uh, bridges are anywhere from 22 to 25 foot wide, so we got some clearance, but sure not a lot. So we're gonna get this done. I still got the tractor warming up some. We're only running about 1400 RPM right now. I knew I run down. Oh, just under 2,000 RPM, so we're just letting her come up the tank here. We're not in a rush. I don't have a whole lot else going today. I'd like to mow a little bit with my Mapsy 1025 on a mower. That's not all we got going on today. So let's get this done. on each side of this. Water is flowing in the creek. We cleared there. We cleared there. All right. Keep rolling. I pulled the pan and got the hydraulics unhooked. Um, so we're gonna run this back out the farm and uh, put her away, I think. Um, actually, I'd like to power wash it. because I got, might take it to the car show in Norton this weekend. I'm gonna take the 1468 for sure. A nice little three-wheeler I got and might just run this up there too because it's a pretty cool tractor you don't see every day. But uh, that's it for this one, guys. Hope you like all this video from drilling sedan grass there's still 50 acres to go so there might be some more we do but uh go drag some out of the weeds and get it running